Hello, FNA fans. This is Tom Morrison right here from the National Office of the Metal Treating Institute and Furnace of North America, Nashville, Tennessee. We're excited to be here with another FNA technical showcase where we feature sponsors of our great event, the FNA Virtual 2020. And you heard it right, virtual. We're going digital. This is a great, unique opportunity because usually people that come to our Furnace of North America are people that can afford the time and money to be there. Um, and because not everybody can go, you can't shut down the plants. But now we're bringing content, emerging technologies, product demonstrations, all sorts of good stuff right through every computer in the world. So we're very excited about that. So today, the focus is the Seco Vacuum Technologies. And we have Tom Hart here, here to talk to us about some things today and how Seco is going to be developing and putting in some great stuff uh, at the Furnace of North America virtual event. So Tom, say hello to everybody out in the uh, heat treat world. Hey, thanks, Tom. Hello, everybody out there. Um, it's a pleasure to be talking with you today. Appreciate it. So Tom, I know you've been a part of our YES program. Seco has been a great member of MTI and, and Furnaces has always been one of those events that I hear that you're got, you guys and your ladies and your team love to come to. So what do you love about F&A and then what excites you about the whole virtual opportunity? Well, hey, that's a broad stroke, but uh, I'll, I'll take a stab at it. There's, there's tons of reasons to, uh, you know, love F&A and, you know, just the, the, the coming together of, of a bunch of individuals within the industry, you know, you get to, talk to new exciting new customers learn about new trends with uh, presentations where folks have put together white papers uh, and of course to catch up with the colleagues in the in the community it's always uh, good to do that and you know it's the exhibitors that's I mean that's what we're doing yeah. here. we're exhibiting our, our content so um, we'd like to share it and and obviously um, see the other individuals as well and, and companies um, but again it's it's too bad it can't be in person. You know that's what we're all used to. But right. like I mentioned before, you have the uh, the upside that you know many people can join that perhaps uh, didn't have the chance before, and perhaps you could even say that this platform might allow um, visitors to efficiently navigate the show's content and you know obtain more information in a short amount of time. Well, you know most people have asked me, Tom, how do you shake hands in a digital <laughs> thing? I just do this right I'm here. Like, that's, I, that's, I do, I yeah, this fist pump. pump right there. That, there you go. That's perfect, man. Per or, or the elbow pump right there. There you go. There you go. So let's talk customer challenges. So, you know, you have customers calling up or your salespeople are talking to, to heat treaters out there. What is kind of the overriding big challenges you're hearing from just any heat treater? And I know COVID's kind of an overlying issue, but just generally heat treating parts, pushing throughput, going from receiving to shipping. What are the challenges you're, that your team is hearing from typical heat treaters out there? Well, let's let's get rid of COVID. We all want it gone, of course. So, right. uh, but heat treat specifically, you know, there's always the usual issues. You know, you have your your quality, uh, uniformity, um, you know, and, and safety is always a big concern with heat treatment, as you know. Yep. These things are are pretty hot operating devices um, and gas but, everywhere. Know, and so it's specific, though. You know, we we run into our our customers that you know they want to control their distortion because as you know heat treatment will cause the parts to distort the distort yeah me. and uh you know part uniformity and, and their inefficiencies caused by the maybe scrap parts that don't meet those specifications because again they moved uh and, and it wasn't expected for example um and and again then you have to either throw them away or correct it with you know post heat treatment uh, techniques and all that's pretty costly and time consuming so we try to offer solutions that, that you know, offset those uh, activities. And, and again, and also uh, they talk about cost reduction. Everybody, cash is king. We want to reduce yep. our cost so that we can have more profits. So, you know, within heat treatment, if you add distortion control, uh, it allows, you know, the heat treaters to then reduce the downstream costs uh, and, and this, those associated with the operating. So, and I can talk more about these issues shortly about how we address those. Um, furnace maintenance, that's always a big issue. Yep. Um, hey, the second you turn them on, they begin to eat themselves apart. So extending equipment life is, is key and critical to, uh, you know, a, a good operating uh, piece of equipment. And hey, if it's down, we, you're not making any money on it. So, right. um, so that's, that's always at the forefront in, in improving those, um, those platforms. And um, so those are some challenges that, uh, you know, we see and that we try to help out um, the those that work with us. Awesome. Well, you know, they say cash is king and downtime is the enemy, right? That's right. So, so let's talk about what you do for the customer. So what, what is, what, what is the big products and the thing, how are you helping heat treaters deal with those challenges? Okay. Well, we have, uh, you know, many different products that, uh, that help that, uh, but I'll address a couple right now that we're pretty excited about. 
um, you know, to address distortion control, we've uh, we've have our 40 quench platform. Uh, it's a vacuum furnace with a single piece flow that you can um, do a four dimensional quench and it's designed for gears, uh, bearings and uh, transportation industry components. So which basically there's no uh, manual handling whatsoever. And the, the, the gears are quenched with nitrogen that can be comparable to uh, an oil quench. So it, it eliminates, almost virtually eliminates distortion that uh, people tend to struggle with when they, they quench in other platforms. Wow. Uh, to, to offset that, if you, if you want to talk more traditional processes that we can uh -huh. help out with, uh, you have your uh, integral quench furnaces that we've introduced a new, um, a new hybrid design, you could say, uh, called our Super IQ. And that's also to address cost reduction and, and, uh, and enhance the quality uh, with, the, uh, with the fact that we, we use a, a vacuum platform and a, uh, an oil quench platform. Um, and again, at a very competitive cost associated, uh, a competitive price associated with uh, you know, your, your integral quench furnaces. So um, those two pieces of equipment are, are very high on our um, you know, excitement list and right. what we can do to bring uh, the end users either lower costs, lower distortions, and, um, you know, again, lower that bottom line at the end of the day. Absolutely. Well, the bottom line is what helps put in more jobs, more things into the community. So that it sounds like I've got some awesome stuff coming around that's really helping the heat treaters out there. So, so the one thing, we all say we come to Furnace for the one thing. So what is the one thing that you're excited for Seco to bring? Is there anything that you're excited to bring to Furnace that people say, you know what, I got to go to Seco Vacuum's booth to see that? Well, it, as, as I mentioned before, the one thing, I, I hate always limiting ourselves to just one because we're such a, a diverse group and have such a diverse product. But again, the 4D Quench, the Super IQ, um, our Seco Predictive maintenance software, um, just it really enhanced the equipment and, and the end user's flexibility to be able to be faster, better, and more efficient at what they're, at what they're doing. Well, that's awesome. Well, man, Tom, thank you for taking some time today to share what's going on with Seco and the excitement of bringing the FNA virtual. Folks out there, if you have not taken a chance to register yet for uh, Furnaces Virtual North America 2020, you're going to want to do that as soon as you can. For $594, you can bring six people onto the system and let them see tons of product demonstrations, um, 70 to 100 of the top suppliers, 35 technical sessions, and four live sessions that we're going to do live, and then you'll be able to see those afterward. But here's the cool thing. If you just want to get your furnace operators on the system for free, absolutely for free, they can all go on and register and be able to see just the exhibit booths for free and see all they got going on, technical documents, marketing promo documents, videos they're uploading, and they can even connect in virtually with, the, with someone like Tom on any given uh, booth and talk to them just like this and even share screens and show presentations. So absolutely the best technology, we're trying to bring the best live scenario into the virtual world. So don't miss it. Go to furnacesnorthamerica.com and click on the registration tab at the top and register your team today, whether you take the free option or the, the, uh, the team option, which is $199 for the first two people each and $49 all out. You can bring six people for less than $600 and transform your team into the future when it comes to your heat treat business. See you at Digital FNA 2020. Have a great day.